Okay, today I'm going to be talking about malapropism. It is when someone either intentionally or unintentionally replaces a word with something similar sounding, but with a different meaning. It's usually meant to be comical, but doesn't always come across that way. The reason it is called a malapropism is because in the play The Rivals, the character of Mrs. Malaprop uses a lot of them. Many of William Shakespeare's characters use malapropism. These are both from the character Dogberry in A Much To Do About Nothing. Our watch, sir, have indeed comprehended two auspicious persons. Comprehended should really be apprehended, and auspicious should really be suspicious. And only get the learned writer to set down our excommunication and meet me at the jail. Excommunication should actually be the word examination. They're both replaced with other words that have different meanings that change the meaning of the sentence. Here are some more contemporary examples of a malpropism. The police are not here to create disorder, they are here to preserve disorder, and it's obviously supposed to say order, and that's by the former mayor of Chicago. I prefer to think this was a Freudian slip and, you know, he was a corrupt man of toughness with the parts. Uh, and this is by former Yankees catcher Yogi Berra. Texas has a lot of electrical votes, and it's actually supposed to be electoral votes. Um, that one's just funny. And then, this is from uh, Archie Bunker from the TV show All in the Family, and it's by one of them battery-operated transvestite radios, and it's supposed to say by one of those battery-operated transistor radios. I don't think, um, you know, a radio could actually be a transsexual. That would be highly logical. Any examples of malapropism and anything we've read so far this year? So I adapted uh, some of the sentences from the, what we have read into malapropism. So this is from Plague of Six. It wasn't that I enjoyed pressing my nose against the scalding hood of the parked car. Uh, actually, it wasn't that I enjoyed pressing my nose against the scalding hood of a parked car. Uh, I don't think uh, scalding makes basketball car hoods. That's why it really doesn't make any sense as a malapropism. Uh, this is from To Shoot an Elephant. I had no intention of shooting an elephant in exchange. I had no interception of shooting an elephant, which is obviously very different and not what it should be. There really hasn't been any malpropisms in anything we've read so far this year because a malpropism is a mistake, and we're reading finalized, well put together essays, which for the most part shouldn't have any mistakes, and none of which have really tried to be funny except for Plague of Tips, but that would not include. Here's some other examples I created. Um, Aflac is a super fun glass. Now, Aflac would probably still be super fun if it was glass, but it's actually a class. And the man in the overcoat is very inconspicuous, when it should be the man in the overcoat is very suspicious, because if you're wearing an overcoat and standing inconspicuously, that doesn't really make sense. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you learned some of the magical wonders of malpropism.